Hey guys, Dan here from VHIX411. Today in front of me I have a Volvo cluster. This cluster has bad gauges. Let's say the tech doesn't work, the speedo doesn't work, or let's say if you have a rear axle pressure gauge not working, front axle gauge not working, fuel gauge, pretty much any gauge that's not working this video is for you now if you need the service done at the end of this video you can click a link in below the video and have that service done for you it's about $250 for a complete set of gauges replaced on a Volvo dash cluster or Volvo cluster so if you want to do it yourself we also do sell the parts on our website, CarmenAuto.com. That's Carmen with a K. Now, let's say if you do buy parts and you need to know how to do it, first things first, we will need a T Torx T10 and remove all these screws around it. Now that I loosen all my screws, you can remove the cover. You can set that aside, you don't really need it for now. And we have our stepper motors here. Some of them are not installed on this particular model. What I do is with a permanent marker. Smart connects that way you're not wasting <laughs> that way you're not wasting time figuring out was it there or not. And then here's a screw. I will mark it over here on the board. That way when we're installing it, we don't confuse don't get confused installing it in here or here or here. So we'll just install it in the exact location where it was. I'll just color them like this and remove them. Okay, I removed these four, four screws. We'll set them to the side. They are different than the ones from the back panel. Now, this gauges, you can remove them without touching the front plate because this LCD plate is kind of glued. This, so this plate right here, this display, it's kind of glued in here. So what we're gonna do, I will start with the top first, set it this way. And then you can kind of, as you can see, hold it this down and this up so you kind of pull it out of there. So, top first, we'll do one corner. Another corner. Okay, now that I got this out, except one more. You can see the glue so slowly. Peel it out of there. And 
Okay, so now I got all the gauges needles removed. Now we can set this to the side. Don't need it also right now. I got my new stepper motors. This model takes seven of them, so we'll be installing all seven of them. Now, since the motors are soldered, we will be removing four pins, four pins from each motor on soldering all, all of them. On soldering all seven of them. You need solder iron, suction tube. Zoom in. So about four seconds. One, two, three, four. Now, if you overheat it, you can damage the little ring around the hit that goes on the motherboard. So, be very careful not to overheat it. Now, you can see I got it removed. You can kind of... Touch it, touch the little pins and move it to the side. You can see them come out. Now what I'm gonna do is, since I unsoldered this guy right here, I will use a little pick tool, bent at an angle. Make sure you're not prying against any chip or resistor and just bite it out. So we'll do it to all of them on solder and take them out. Now removing 
the one right next or under this display no need to remove this display there's one little pin right here under the display if you can see like right in there you can heat it up and pull this out so I'm just gonna grab this guy right here heat it up on this end and pull it out now sometimes if that doesn't work that's fine what I'm gonna do got my pick tool I will grab it under the side where it has nothing around it no resistors no nothing and slide it in there and pop it out now this thing right here if you can't see the pin is still kind of sticking out simple pliers warm it up and lift it up with the pliers there you have it if you can see it really tiny so Now let me remove every single one of them. Okay. Got all my mortars removed. Now you need to make sure that the holes that the pins go through, they're all flush. Actually, that the pins are going through, you can see through them. That way the new stepper motor can fit through. So in this case, obviously I gotta clean up this one. It's not that great. zoom in this is the only one that's not see-through everything else as you can see the pins are good pins kits pins so as you can see the pins can easily from the stepper motors fit through those except this guy right here so I'll just heat it up it up a little. All right. Since I got it cleared up, I will get my little brush. You can use a toothbrush carefully. Get all the old solder out. Blow it out blow out both sides and all right so both sides clean and good I will grab my new stepper motors By the way, when working, make sure the surface where you're working on is flat. That way when you set it up over here, you don't damage the display. And try not to push on it. Now the new motor, as you can see, it has the needle, stepper motor needle. That thing's supposed to go out through the board and come out through here. So make sure where the speaker side is that is where you're going to be installing your motors that's the side so you'll just 
find the hole set it just like the circle slowly so I got the pins through stepper motor through as you can see it's flush perfectly installed and this pin is and all those other four pins they're sticking out really nice so we'll do to every single one except the ones that we marked so find the pin make sure the you slide the pins through good Alright, installed all of them, inspect, make sure they are in all the way, so in all the way, and so they're good, we can see all our new pins from the new mo stepper motors are out, so we didn't bend anything in there, I will be soldering every single one of them, so so we'll go ahead and solder it. Soldering it, pretty easy. You just first heat up the pin, just touch with the, uh, the bottom of the board and the pin, and then tap it with the solder. So, as you can see, in. Now again, this one underneath, you can just do the same thing. And we'll do that to every single one of them. these we don't so one two three four one two three four one two three four make sure every single one pin every single pin is soldered and soldered really good Okay, inspection. Make sure all four are connected. All four pins, all four, including one underneath over here. Connected, connected. So everything's connected. Now, what I'm gonna do is, again, brush it away really carefully because now we got this needle sticking out. My brush is long enough so it goes through normally, easily. So 
blow everything out, clean everything out. You do not want to short anything out. Now that we have everything soldered, I will grab my display, line it up, line it up everywhere. So now that this is a line up pin over here, lining pin over here, so we'll line it up. And then these guys gotta pop. So as you can see, this one popped through. Everything lined up, secure in there. I will get the screws that I removed previously. One, two, three, four. I marked them all. That way it's not coming into where it doesn't need to be. All right, now that I got my screws secure on this and I will do the same to these two. That's why I marked them. So inspect it, make sure everything's good in the right place, not where it's not supposed to be. And also I will actually wanted to talk to you guys about the motors. If you can see this stepper motor original one, it's pretty flimsy. It's literally plastic just like clips in here and when we remove the needles obviously this little needle out of the stepper motor came out with it so it's supposed to be kind of like sticking out like this it's missing here so these over time these motors go bad the motors that we use they're sturdier plastic really sturdy and if you can see it literally has screws to hold it in place not just a clip on plastic type of deal so these motors stepper motors the manufacturer offers a lifetime warranty in these so we always go for these and we've been doing them for 10 years so far nothing came back so these are really good motors now it's a good time to clean your display right now because since you took it apart a lot of these have dust in them so it's a good time to clean it what I use for cleaning Windex and just paper towels so spray, spray it don't drain it with just spray it a little bit try to avoid the display a little bit if you spray it it's okay All right, now that I cleaned up my display, we will be installing our needles. Now let's move back so we have good focus on here. Now these needles, the smaller ones go on the very end. Well, the medium one go here and the biggest one goes here. As you can see, they are different in sizes. So we'll put the smallest one here. Don't click them in all the way, just kind of put it in there, set it in there. And as you can see when you remove them, this thing tends to unclip, so clip that in there. Plug it in here. Also if you do remove, the needle comes out from the old stepper motor, just hold it with pliers, remove it. Set this here. This guy here. 
a small guy here. And I will remove another one of these. Gonna hold it over here at the base. Here it is. Now, as you can see, you can turn it to the left. Doesn't really line up. So it's fine. You can just go make a circle, one circle, and set it at about I mean, 90 degree angle, except then this guy right here, straight down. So, same goes here. Then we will realign it. Push it in. So, go around, go around, go around. Now, make sure it's set straight in there. So, here's that. Straight here, straight here. So, if you got it all set straight, push it in all the way, push it in, push it in, actually don't push it in all the way, just kind of push it in, that way you have a little gap, I don't know if you can see it through here, in here, you gotta have a gap, let's say if you get business card or a paper you can actually let's see if you can see it here let me get my light in here there you go about two three millimeters that way it moves freely in there Alright, <sighs> cleaned it up, it's all ready to go, you can clean up the glass, and then put it back, come on, so we are gonna put it back together, line these up, elbow bump here yeah. and what we're gonna do is just screw it all in yeah. okay Okay, now that I install all my screws, you want to make sure every single screw is installed and the gauges are good, lined up in there, and it's ready to go. So, this is the process of how to replace these stepper motors. If you need these, you can click the link below. Go to Carmen Auto and buy one, or if you want the service, you can also go to Carmen Auto and get the service done. Otherwise, if you need a buzzer replaced, you can get have that done at Carmen Auto or buy the part also at Carmen Auto. Or if you want to do it yourself, click on the next video and you can see how to do that. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Subscribe hit that like button 
and please do share this video. Thank you.